Hello everyone, and welcome to Lance and Plays The Binding of Isaac. Um, we just did an Eve mode run to the cathedral. Um, let's do... Let's do a greed mode run. Who do we want to go with? Let's do Eden. We'll do greed mode Eden run. We got Breath of Life. That's pretty bad. BFFs doesn't really do anything by itself. We got good damage, but bad tiers. This should actually increase our tiers already. Get down to four, so that's great. Um, what we can use Breath of Life for is you gotta hold it until it gets down to the bottom. And you can avoid taking damage like why it's held down. It's a super niche item and it's hard to use right. Um, pretty much the only thing that I've effectively used it for is getting in and out of curse rooms without taking damage. You're immune to all damage while it affects active, but if you hold it for too long, then you take damage. Um, I don't like it. It's extremely hard to use but properly. We started with two keys, so we're actually getting here. To, well, ooh, a golden poop's great. Some free money, which, you know, what else could you need on a, luck, on a uh, greed mode run? So we're bursting sacks, so we'll get some free spiders out of it, which will be nice. Items we want, we'll probably buy Mystery Gift and bring it into the Devil Deal to use it to get a free Devil Deal item. And we definitely want the Coat Hanger to give us a Tears upgrade. But for now, let's spawn some waves. We got higher than average damage, or higher than starting damage and tears now. So, uh, feeling pretty good. Um, BFFs might be really good. It'll influence our decision on what items we take later. Because it's going to make any familiar items uh, better. Which is cool. It's not item I probably wouldn't normally take on a greed mode run, so it's nice to start with it. To kind of give us a little... Give us a little variety. We're gonna... Turn through these waves pretty, pretty well. Um, this is the first wave that's kind of caught up to us in speed, but that's fine. We were able to deal with most of the dangerous enemies already. We can take care of the spawners at least... Oh. Shouldn't have gotten hit. Uh, saying if we could take care of the spawners at least before the next wave starts, then uh, I'll be a happy boy. We unfortunately weren't able to do that. We're now in danger of uh, getting overrun if we let too much more kind of happen here. But this is it. This is the last one. So we're fine. There's just one of you guys left. Great. And we're done. Um, so we will take the wire coat hanger. Oh, we really want Dolly, too. I actually think I want Dolly more than the mystery... You know what, let's do mystery gift. Take the mystery gift. I don't think we'd be able to afford both, so it's kind of a choice there. And I'm going to save this mystery gift for a devil deal, because I believe it spawns an item based on whatever room you're standing in. So uh, if we can get it in the devil deal, getting an extra devil item is really good. Usually. I mean, it could be a crap one, but, uh, the odds are it'll be a good one. Granted, Dolly was the more sure thing. The tears upgrade would have been useful. Um, not very much, because we're actually really close to the cap already. Um, but it would have been useful, and plus it would have given us some HP along with it, which kind of comes at a premium in greed mode. So, uh, that would have been nice. That's okay. Alright, made it through. Ooh, that's really nice. Let's go ahead and do this fight then. I'll take out Polycephalus whenever we get a good chance. Oof, almost got hit there. Oh, man. We got... As long as we don't get hit again, it's fine. I'll save a second before I get hit again. How oh, terrible? Taking a lot of bad damage. We should be okay, though. It's not going to mess up our chance of getting a devil deal or anything. So it's alright. Got through it. Um, ooh. A lot of good options here. Let's go ahead and use Mystery Gift. It did work like I thought. We got seven seals. Um, I do want to take Guppy's head. I will take Lump of Coal. Um... It's a real risk. We're at very low HP now. Um, I could very well lose the run because of this decision, but uh, I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm also going to take X-ray vision, actually, because it'll show us, it'll get us into secret rooms for free. 
Oh, that one was pretty useless. But uh, that could be very... If it gives us 2 HP over the course of the run, it was a good decision. It very well could not do that, maybe. I'm going to check. We're so close to dying that uh, I'm going to check in here and see if there's a uh, regular secret room. Yeah, the chances were pretty low, but I had to check. Oh, I hate Breath of Life so much. <laughs> it's such a frustrating ag item to use. Alright. Well, we put ourselves really close to death, but uh, if we can make it through the first little bit of these next waves, um, then we should be really well off. Got some good damage with Guppy's head. Um... Seven Seals is an amazing... Ooh, 2020 is great. we got to make sure to watch out for the... Um... Okay, there's another super secret room. We got a Spirit Heart out of it, so that's... God damn it. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Um, oh, well. So we probably want to buy a bomb to open this. Um, if it's an option. Is it an option? It's not an option. And there's a lot of good bomb use in this room. Oh well. Uh, meat. I want to buy that for sure. Probably going to have to buy that spirit heart to stay alive. I want to make sure we use Guppy's head in every wave here. We're doing really good damage. So, I mean, we should be able to waste these waves pretty quick here. We just have to... Be careful to not get hit. We gotta make sure we stay really, really pay really close attention to the spot of uh, flies that spawn. God damn it! <laughs> Fucking seven seals. Let's do it again. All right, this one we got good tears, good damage. Seraphim's a pretty good item. Another tears upgrades, nice. It's a pretty good start. Um, what pill we get? Got a bad trip. Ah, it kind of sucks. It's not the worst. Got the glowing of the hourglass. Should be able to slow every other wave. That'll be handy. Let's see if there's anything in these poops before we start. And what's in our shop? Anything useful? We got an HP, so we'll go into our curse room. Nothing particularly great. Um, yeah. Kind of None of this is very good, actually. We're going to... Eventually buy a key and open this to get, you know, the key and access to half, half a red heart. Um, and we want to get into our item room, but that's a pretty, pretty bad haul, I gotta say. Really bummed I lost that 2020 run. Um, I mean, I did it to myself, but uh, just one or two, like, we took that troll bomb to the face. And we, um, and we, um then ate shit to a fly spawned by seven seals which man that i'm starting to think that i just shouldn't take the item because it's bitten me in the ass most of the times i've had it i think we're just going to use the uh, hourglass every time it's available slowing enemies is uh it's not a huge effect so we might as well just spam it all the time just to make these waves a little easier to kill Working out well so far. Yeah, like this runs going places. Uh, we probably shouldn't have taken uh, either Guppy's head or Lump of Coal. Probably Lump of Coal is one we should have avoided. We probably should have just taken Lump Guppy's head and been happy with it. But uh, what can I say? Let's take this, open this in case there's like a penny or something inside it. Uh, and we'll go get. Our item room, missing though. I mean, fuck it. This is terrible. We don't have to live with it for long, thankfully, but it's awful. Um, what missing though will do for us, it'll give us a better chance at getting transformations. Um, because we're going to get more items, so we're going to get more transformations probably over time. Uh, it will also... You keep any HP upgrades you get through items from uh, missing no. So we should really just push for HP because it's going to be the only thing that sticks around from floor to floor. Um, so that'll be nice. 
In the long run, missing those should be very helpful for us. But we could get stuck with an absolutely terrible run for a floor. Um, which would be real bad. I'm about to die again. I'd be real sad about that. We are really slow. 0.66 is not good. This is awful. It's really hard to dodge everything. Oh my god. Stay alive. Oh, nope. Well, missing no kind of screwed us that time. I could have been better about dodging, but uh, oh well. Kind of bummed about that. We're opening that. Nothing. Okay. Uh, Blood Clot's pretty good to start with. Uh, we'll start with base damage. Uh, slightly better than base tier 8. Not by much. Same with the speed. Um, yeah, it's not a bad way to start. Ooh, sprinkler's fun. There's a lot of options here. We're going to buy the bomb at some point. And we're going to push uh, the stone chest over to these guys and blow them all up. Um, PJ's is pretty good for 15 cents. There's a lot of options here. I'm not really sure what I want to go with. We're going to want to wait until we maybe get overwhelmed and have some, or we're down on some HP. Use a sun card. Um, we're going to make it through this one. I know we've died a lot in the last ones, but I mean, there were, there were choices I made that I knew could have screwed us, and they did. Um, that's fine. I, I take full responsibility for that, and I've got no problem with that. We're going to do just fine here. I don't mind taking a few losses. This is a game where uh, experimentation is a good time. And failure is totally an option. Happens all the time, in fact. We do want to make these trap doors as often as possible. Because they could lead to a crawl space. Which, who knows what that could give us. We also start with a linger bean, I think it is. I'm going to be honest, it's one of the newer items. I'm not entirely sure what it does. Um, I know it makes little clouds behind us. I think those clouds do damage. Okay, let's push this over here. And make some progress. I think I'm going to save the sun card as essentially like a full health pill. Got Guppy's head. Wow. Okay, sure. I'll take it. Let's go in our curse room. I do hate to give up um, the shovel. It could be really good for us. But Guppy's head's going to be good. The shovel could possibly give us a crawl space. Um, which could possibly contain some helpful items. But um, it's a fairly low chance play of being actually useful for us. Um, Guppy's head is going to be good. It also means we know not to take the sprinkler, which means I'll probably take PJs. Yeah, the HP is just going to be really handy to have. Let's use sun now. Oh, he charged me. What a dick. He used to hit me all the time from that charge attack. Oh, I've gotten a much better at dodging it now, but it is a little tricky to, to learn the process there. You kind of got to know what he's going to do before he does it. But his animations are all pretty well telegraphed, so it's definitely a thing that's not too bad once you uh, know what you're doing. Let's buy this key. We will buy these PJs. Oh, yeah. And here's Adrenaline. Panic equals power, so lower HP gives us more damage. But uh, I think it's actually like a hard number. Like, when you're at X amount of HP, you get this amount of damage. Um, I don't remember what those variables are, but I do think that's how it works. Um, I don't, also I don't remember if it's like just red heart. Oh my god, look at my little butt. You can see my little butt falling away from the pants, from the PJs. That's adorable. I've never noticed that before. Uh, let's go in our devil deal here. We got a second guppy item. We're definitely going to take that. I don't think I'm going to take black powder. Um, could be useful, but I mean... Probably won't be. Fuck this guy. Just die. Um, I don't think I want to actually use Guppy's Paw. But we'll take the item. Um, you know what? Let's use it once. To give us some spirit hearts. And we'll move on. 
we're not likely to use the red hearts. Um, and the only thing we're going to really want them for is to give up for more devil deals in the future. So let's move on here. Hey, look, we made it to the caves. Um, let me pick up this matchbook. Get some more bombs. A very bomb-rich run for... Uh, for greed mode. Normally you don't get many. Happy to have them, though. There's all sorts of useful things you can use bombs for. Is there anything we really... I don't think there's anything we care about in here, really. Honestly. Blow these up. Hopefully get some spirit hearts. No. Yeah, I don't care about any of this stuff. That's kind of lame. So I'm going to buy a key to get to our item room and then, you know, do the wave so we get the money and then move on, I think. Um, friendly balls, okay. It's not better than Guppy's head, that's for sure, though. Um, especially in this format. Yeah, the, the regular ways we make it through really fast. We only start getting problems when um, we get to the boss fights. Even though they're not too bad, but it's definitely not fast. Guppy's head makes sure we clear the regular waves pretty quickly. I think it's a really good item for this mode. Did I take damage there? I wonder if like Guppy's head activated like a invincibility hitbox just for like a frame or two and it was enough for us to not get hit. I, I doubt it. I have to go back and look though. We're gonna avoid these bonies. Fight some bosses. We don't care about checking our item, our shop again, because it's it's just bad. The only thing it really had to offer us that we might like is HP, just to trade away for a devil deal. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not too sold on that idea. We definitely don't want to buy it until after we get our devil deal, either way, because um, it's a two heart deal. Granted, I think the best amount of HP to walk into a devil deal with is two. There's almost always two deals. Um, and if one of those is a two heart deal, you don't want to walk in with three. Because if one of those deals is a two heart deal, or if they're both two heart deals, I don't know. There's a lot of variations. I think someone ran the math on it at one point, and the optimal amount of HP to have in a double deal room to get the most value was two. I remember seeing that. We're at one, so I mean, I guess we could go buy. The HP, but I don't. I don't want to. Gonna move on here. We yeah, definitely want to get some more damage. Three point five is not where we want to be. Y'all run. We're the only in the caves, so it's not terrible at the moment. There's a thing that needs to be better. At some point. What have we got? What have we got? I take both. Take Dead Cat, which will give us our HP right back. We became Guppy. Then we're going to get the Mark, which is a speed and damage upgrade. And now we are doing fucking great. I'm going to buy this HP. Oh, now there's a, a good item. Oh, well. Um, I only bought that HP because we want to have one HP to give up for a devil deal later. Oh, we're going to go in here. What do we got? Another syringe, which is great. We're two-thirds of the way to spawn. Um, we're almost at the speed cap. We're so fast. A couple of free keys, which is awesome. Definitely worth half a spirit heart in this situation. Avoiding this. We are going to want squeezy there. Um, nine volts, actually. Be really. Oh, my God. Pyro is awesome. 99 bombs is great. Um, we can bomb everything. Blow it all up. It could give us money. Um, we're one cent away from getting squeezy. We want both those items, actually. Which, I think, we should have enough in here. We just need 16 cents from this floor, which we will definitely get. Yes, but 9 volt will, uh... It won't do anything for most of this run, I think. Um, it will make Guppy's head recharge during a room, even if you, um... Yeah, instead of giving it a one-room recharge, it kind of just recharges all the time after you use it. 
which uh, you could theoretically stand there and just keep spawning it, like spamming it, and just stand still the entire time, but that's boring. We won't be doing that, but it will be helpful for us during the Ultra Greed fight. Um, pick up Squeezy here, give us some Spirit Hearts, give us a Tears upgrade, we're going to get 9 Volt. Um, even if we got the money for it, I don't really care too much about either of those items. Black Hole's not bad, but especially with the 9 volt we just bought, Guppy's head's better. I'm gonna fight the Forsaken here, shouldn't be much of a problem. Polydactyl also isn't gonna be very good, lets you hold two consumables, I think. Um, we're not likely to be holding consumables in greed mode, so kind of whatever to that. Um, there's not a whole lot of more upgrades we're going to need to, to beat Ultra Greed handily. Um, some more damage we do want, for sure. Like, a Spun upgrade would be fantastic. A Hive Mind would be great, so our flies do a lot more damage. Um, things outside of just, like, damage upgrades, though, I don't think I care too much about anymore. You probably won't need any more HP. This is tough. I think I'm going to skip out on it. Book of Sin's not amazing. Um, it could be good, but I'm not going to take it long term over Guppy's head. Um, I do value the item, maybe more than I should, but uh, we just unlocked it. Let's take it. Shot speed down, damage up, hone oh, in magic mush to get an all stats upgrade. So our shots are super slow now, but uh, they pack a punch. Let's see what's in here. Got a rune. It's an Awaz rune. Not likely to be very good, but it could be something cool. We can reroll this stuff to our heart's content. I don't really care about the HP from that, so let's uh, blow these up. And blow these guys up too, and blow this machine up as well. Blow it all up. So pennies give us key. Well, some pennies will give us keys. So that'll be very good for us. We definitely want this champion belt. So we're going to be set for keys for the rest of the run. You know what, Ease Mascara is probably actually a really good pickup, because it'll increase our fly damage substantially. Our uh, actual tears are gonna... Oh, I thought I was gonna hit him. Our actual tears are gonna be kind of a pain to hit enemies with. Our flies should do a lot of work. And we're gonna get all the keys we need for the rest of the run just from this floor, and then I'll probably just take Petrified Poop with me, because it might give me some money. I don't think it's going to give me much, but it might give me some money, and I mean, we're not going to need any more keys than we get from this, so... Let's take Champion Belt. Don't care about either of those, really. Um... I don't really care too much. Let's blow it up. A Syringe we'll definitely take. So we got Spun. Everything's better. Um... Range Down Pill. Yeah, kind of unfortunate, but not the worst thing in the world. We probably shouldn't re-roll anymore, actually. Because I don't think we're going to get back up to 15 cents in this floor. So there's no reason to roll through items we can't take. I usually I used to play this game without the sound on before I started streaming it. Because I would usually like, watch something while I play. Um, I forgot how cool the brimstone noise is. I'm really... Enjoying the return of that. Wow, that's a lot of Sister Viz. This kind of sucks. Um, oh well. We oh, God. This, uh, this is tough. So we... God damn it. Um, okay, so we might be... We might find ourselves having to buy an HP upgrade after all. This is uh, kind of a nightmare, to be honest. It's almost over now. That sucked real bad. Let's see what's in here. Uh, we will take Rotten Baby. We don't care about Demon Baby, um, and we definitely don't want to pay the HP for it. Let's use Awaz in case it's something good. Probably should have waited until we had HP to use that, in case it's a uh, black market. But oh well, is that a Tinted Rock? Yes, great. And move on. So we're going to have to reprioritize HP now. Blow these up, they might have HP. They can also have any kind of card in them, which would be cool. They don't, so we'll move on here. 
Broken modem's not great. We'll take it. Same for mom's lipstick. There's no reason not to. We'll definitely use our key here. I totally forgot to go back and uh, get... What's that item? I, f I forgot to go get petrified poop. But that's fine. It shouldn't make a difference, really. We could buy a bunch of spirit hearts to get to max HP. Um, let's see what... There's more interesting plays, though. I don't care about another syringe, really. Let's see what else we got. Um, yeah, let's take Binky. We'll drop our tears significantly and give us a spirit heart. So that's our happy spot for now until we do some waves. Two of clubs will double our bombs, so... I mean, I guess we'll wait until we're low on bombs. We're not likely to use them for combat, though, so I don't think that's ever going to be too much of a concern. We're making it through just fine here. We're going to have so many keys by the end of this run now. Um, I'm not going to get really any use out of them. That was unfortunate. Yeah, uh, enemies are dying really fast now. That's mostly due to our crazy spider economy. Or crazy fly economy, excuse me. Um... Rotten Baby's helping to make that a thing. As well as Guppy's head and sort of other things. We're going to go ahead and use two of clubs. We're going to take Shrink with us. And we're going to use that on our um, Devil Deal to snag one for free. We... No, I don't want to look a coal. It doesn't work well. We need to use Mascara. I think that Tears upgrade is probably nice. Let's do it. More Tears means more... Oh, we're at a Tears cap apparently. I didn't realize. Well, shit. Oh, well. We learned... God, he dies so fast. I'm tempted to not buy anything else this run. I don't know. We're not at that point yet, I don't think. We're getting close, but we're not quite there. Broken modem's definitely making things stop every now and again. Which is mostly good. Um, the only reason it's bad at all is because sometimes it causes me to take some damage because I don't want to uh, I don't want to miss or it causes me to take some damage because I expect a shot to go somewhere and then kind of pauses in the air and then goes that place oh we're already at the shop so we probably do want to endeavor to not really buy anything else oh, now I wish I had petrified poop Oh well. No biggie. We didn't want any of this stuff anyway. So we're save, definitely save the rest of our money. And move on here. A key? Yeah. Got all the keys. Ugh. I hate it. Okay. So we should be fine. We're going to have to be a little careful about taking damage here. Um, because if we take a whole lot more damage, we're going to be in a dangerous place for our Ultra Greed fight. Um, but I think we'll be just fine. Him with the fist drop. I found a secret room for us. That's great. Flies are going to make short work of uh, Pride? Envy? I, I forget their names always. I know it says as soon as like one spawns, but oh, we don't remember. I don't ever look anymore. Uh, lots of battery charges. Give us some flies. Make quick work of these uh, boss waves. Unfortunately, the Ultra Greed won't go out quite as quick as these guys will. Move on to the stain. Just want to kind of focus on making a safe place for us to fight first. Oh, I didn't think I got hit there. I think I got tripped up by broken modem on that one. 
That's fine. Still should have dodged it. Um, I can't afford either of these. Well, strength card. Take Maul the Void. It's not possible we get... Uh, so we could get some more Spirit Heart or uh, Demon Hearts out of this if we have to. But uh, yeah, it's going to be like the only real use for it. That all died super quick. Uh, I'm going to blow all this stuff up in hopes of getting more money. We want to donate as much as possible, of course. And let's move on to our Ultra Greed fight. Ooh, watch out. Pick up the money so he doesn't. More bombs. Let's see what he spawns this time. More, he loves bombs this time. Oh, damn it. Oh, that was a crack shot. Did really well that time. Okay, that's fine. We'll push through. We, um, we're already at half health for him. We're getting him down pretty quick. Granted, we did have a burst of damage at the beginning of the fight that won't be there the rest of the time, but we should have plenty of HP to get through it either way. Oh, looks like he got some health back from these. That's not too bad, though. We want to try and use Maul to get some HP whenever it's, uh, not going to be a bad thing for us. We'll let some of these uh, keys go through to spawn some enemies, so maybe we can get some HP out of them. Didn't work out. Oh, one, one came down here somehow. Oh, that's fine. He's dead. We got him. We got 65 cents to donate. That's a good chunk. Unlock the GB bug. Let's uh, start dumping some money. Got a 0% chance for it to clog at the moment. Hopefully that keeps up for us. And donating away. Um, but yeah, so we got through greed mode. We got to do it with some more characters, and then we got to go do ultra or the hard version of greed mode, greedier mode with everyone. Um, which yeah, we're gonna need the money for it anyway. I figured we'd need to do at least two runs with every character, um, just to donate enough money anyway. So, might as well do a regular greed, then greedier mode. Greedier mode is a pain, I will say. Okay, we donated every penny of that, so we got to 338 cents. That's pretty good. Alright, move on here. Alright, that was fun. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, watch more of our content and our Tiger Bucket page on YouTube. And I'll be streaming here some more on Twitch. Thank you very much. I hope to see you guys soon.